In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for HC2H3O2 plus NaHCO3. This is acetic acid, also called ethanoic acid, and this is sodium hydrogen carbonate, also called sodium bicarbonate. Before we start, sometimes you'll see this acetic acid written like this. They're the same thing, they have the same number of atoms, just arranged a little bit differently. So just be aware of that. If you have this, it's just the same thing as we have here. The problem with this type of reaction is that if you're looking at our general list here, you're not going to find this on the list. It just doesn't really match any of the patterns. And that's because this is a combination of two reactions. So let's take a look at those reactions and then we'll figure out the type for each. So we start out with this reaction right here. So let's get rid of this one. We have our acetic acid and our sodium hydrogen carbonate come together we end up with this sodium acetate in what's called carbonic acid. This is a double displacement reaction. We can see that the H and the Na, they switch places. So the Na is now with the C2H3O2, the acetate ion here. And then we have this H here coming over. And now we have H2CO3 in the products. So this is definitely a double displacement reaction. The positive ions have changed places. Let's look at the next reaction. In the next reaction, this H2CO3, it breaks apart into two different things. Let's put it right here. So the H2CO3, it's going to break down into carbon dioxide and water. H2CO3 is yielding this carbon dioxide and water. These are both gases and they bubble out of the solution. Because of that, when we look at this reaction right here, one thing is breaking apart into two different things. That's a decomposition reaction. So we had our initial double displacement, and now we have a decomposition reaction. So if we take the CO2 and the H2O from the decomposition of the carbonic acid, and we'll replace the carbonic acid with that right there, we have our original equation, which is the combination of those two reactions, the double displacement and the decomposition reaction. So to recap, we have our acetic acid plus our sodium bicarbonate. They react to give us this sodium acetate and carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then undergoes a decomposition reaction to form CO2 plus H2O. Combine these two reactions and you get our original reaction here. This is Dr. V and thanks for watching.